Hello everybody, welcome to the Blood Bowl Super League preview of Season 6. In the booth with me is Dimmy G, hello. Hello Jimmy, hello everybody. Oh, brilliant to have you here. And also, not only here commentating, but also in the competition this time, as you can see there, number 12th on the list, with zero accomplishments, it's Dimmy G. Hello Dimmy. Hello Jimmy. <laughs> Um, there is the great achievements there of TST winner, isn't there? But uh, I didn't put it on, unfortunately. But yes, TST winner. Um, we've also got Art Miss Black um, back, missed last season. And also Bright. Unfortunately, Diamond is not coming back for this season. But we've replaced him with Bright, who just won the Blood Bowl 3 Chalice. So that's good, isn't it? Um, I don't know if he won the Blood Bowl 2 Chalice as well or not. But um, he's definitely won this one just now. And then we've got nine people returning from last season. Um, we're trying to squeeze this in before the start of the World Cup, which means Season 5 hasn't finished yet. We know that Andy Davo is in the final versus either Seabros or Diomed, so we'll keep Andy and Seabros apart in case they finished first and second, right? Did you get that? Interesting. Yeah. Uh, no, I was, I was just policing your chat, that was all. Thank you very much, Dimmy. Perfect. <laughs> so anyways, there you can see other people, you can see some other things. It's obviously not an exhaustive list of what they've won, but at least it's something, right? And yes. uh, Yeah, but this is the thing. This is it. So now we can do the draw. Well, first of all, we can look at the races. Um, you can see what we've done for this season is we've brought in the two-point packages for Euro Ball, which is a very good package for Skaven, and it's a very good package for Undead. And as you would expect, we've seen a surge in Skaven and Undead because of this, um, so yeah, three Necro, three Undead, three Skaven. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? Uh, it is crazy, yeah. <laughs> and two Woodies and one Orc. I'm, I thought I'd bring back the Orcs, and I'm glad I oh, did. Oh, Jimmy's on the Orcs. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I did, because now we get to see what those Orcs will look like versus the, uh, <coughs> you know, the, the fully powered teams, you know, with a Skaven with a two-pack and... Undead with a two-point pack. So there's the two groups. So yeah, Andy, Dave, and Seabros kept apart just in case they're the finalist and the runner-up. But even if it's finalist and third place, that's okay, isn't it? So shall we start with Group A, see who is first up to be drawn with Andy, Dave, or let's see who it is. Dun, dun, dun. Hiru. Hiru. What's, sorry, I missed what Hiru was playing. I just assumed he was playing dwarves. He is not playing dwarves. Hiru is on Necromantic, the same as Andy. So Andy is uh, Andy has gone obviously five and zero with his Necromantic in the in the season, and he's won his semi final as well. So he's six and zero with this Necromantic team. So he's like, why should I change anything? Um, <laughs> and then yeah, Hiru's also gone Necromantic. So there you go. Seabrawls has switched to undead this season. Oh my God. If Sprite ends up in Group A, that is going to be <laughs> hell. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, well. I'm already, already terrified. <laughs> Let's see who's in Group B with Seabrawls and his undead. Oh, it's Big Kev. Is it? It is. Oh! oh. Just yeah, that <laughs> might have been right. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was, I thought it was <laughs> stopping sooner than it did. <laughs> So there we go, rats. big Kev Rats. Yeah, he's used a proper team this time. He hasn't gone with the stupid knobs that, you know, are, are an idiotic, you know, joke team. He's gone with the actual real team of uh, Skaven with two-point package. That's going to be cool, isn't it? The Danish duo. Yeah, yeah, very good point. Right, let's see if, let's see if Bright gets added to Group A now. Let's see who's oh, in God. for Group A. Oh, it's Solo Tree. It looks like Tree. No, it's Sol, 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 Sol. Sol, 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 Sol. That's, um, that's Rats against Necro. Oof, yeah. <laughs> I mean, good Ooh. practice for Sol, but it's, I think it yeah. might be rough for him. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be rough. Yeah. All right, Group B. Who does Group B joins the undead and the best player in the world? Oh! Necromantic, it so it is a split. Right. I mean, that's good for the diversity of the groups. Yes. That's good for the diversity of the groups. <coughs> yep. 
Yeah, so we've actually got one of each race in each one so far, haven't we? Oh, no, no, we've got two now. Yeah, I'm so something I'm, I'm actually more of a fan of in this series <laughs> than any any other <laughs> previous previous. So I'm normally all for uh, like seven mirrors in a group, but yeah. Yeah, we split the scave and we split the necro as, as much as it could be split. Um, right, let's see who joins Andy, Hiro, and Sol in Group A. Oh, oh, the champ! Oh, oh no. <laughs> champ, 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 champ. Necromantic. Get in. Dimmy. Dimmy. Dimmy and his undead. And then group... Need... Sorry, yeah, carry on. I was just going to say, I just need one draw to one. get a better record than Chanter, don't I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You've just got to avoid... <laughs> That's the... what I'm aiming for. <laughs> You've just got to avoid the Chanter score. Yeah. All right, group B... Running out of people here now. This is uh, very exciting. Oh, flip me. It's Olivier Dulac. Olivier. With his uh, Skaven there. So two Skaven. An Undead and a Necro. And then the other side we've got one Skaven, two Necro and one Undead. So it's still quite a decent split actually. And we got both the woodies to come, we got an orc to come, and we got another undead to come. Yes. Let's see who's in group A. Oh, it's me. It's the orcs. Orcs, orcs, orcs. Orcs, 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 orcs. <clears throat> Jimbo. Jimmy and that's Jimmy? A, that's a win for me, so happy days. <laughs> Easy win for Timbo. There you go. Guaranteed. You're guaranteed you're going to do better than Chunter. Well done. There we go. And who's going to join Group B? One of the Woodies. Yep. Strider. I'm not going to lie. I was hoping it was Artemis. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to lie. I was, I, was, I was there with you, Jim. Don't worry. I was there with you. <laughs> Right, so now will it be this the other Woody? This is going to be horrendous for me. <laughs> <laughs> Who's it going to be? Filling out Group A. It's Miss Bell Tree. So that's a Woody. So at least we got the Woody split. Yep. We got the Rat split. And somewhat Necromantic split, I guess. Yeah. Got, you got to spin it. You got to spin it. Come on. We've got to spin it. it you got Will to make it be sure Artemis? It's, it's, I'm really yeah. be diced again. <laughs> it is Artemis. Wow. <laughs> wow. What a shocker. <laughs> hey, the celebrations. All right. So there you go. These are the two groups. Oh, so I haven't got any undead mirrors. That's amazing. Okay, that, that, that I can get behind. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, oh, Art Artemis. and Sea Bros in the other group. So everything's been split as much as possible, right? Because there were three, there were three it's rats, three undead, and three necro. So there had to be two of a kind. So yeah, this is actually split as much as it could be. Um, wow! So there you go. There, there's the groups. There's the races. And now we can have a look at the teams. <laughs> just wanted normal dice. Yeah. <laughs> That's becoming like one of my favourite like memes. So, like, <laughs> it's like, pretty emerging memes. It's pretty great. Now, interestingly, um, I hadn't added Bright as a friend before this started, and um, Hiru maximum banging. <laughs> Hiru had to make his team up. Um, like on his phone with BB roster and stuff. So like, Hiru hasn't got his team in the game. Andy's okay. team is in game, but it's the exact same team that's in the playoffs. So Andy hasn't made his team in game. Hiru hasn't made his team in game. And um, yeah, I'm not friends with Bright to invite him. However, however, I have made the team that all three of them have made the exact same roster. <laughs> it's standard necromantic. Have they? All yeah. three of them have got yeah. Yeah, it's it's. I it's mean, the, yeah, that's, the build, this right? is the is the build, yeah. Yeah, this is the build. Every, everybody players, should have three picked three this. Really. Yeah, double Four block. Guard. The one wrinkle that I did last season with the wrestle right, but 
I, oh, I, with the rest of the wolf. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't even know if like I don't know. I don't think it's bad, but like they'll, they'll be like you know they'll be maybe it's like a percent or half a percent, but who knows you know which side it is, right? So um, there's so, no dark elves this season, is there? There isn't. No, no. Seabro's yeah. still the only dark elf coach. So uh, yeah, it's funny. So like you know, obviously Andy used this. Did it bright? Went with this, and uh, and then Hiru just literally made this on BB roster, and and you know again just he he said he put no thought into it, yet he came up with the same roster that that, that is already. Well, he, six played, he played against it, didn't he? Yeah, like, yeah. He played against. He got beat by Andy, didn't he, last season? Yeah. Three nil. Yeah, and and by me, but I had a wrestler. But yeah, it's, it's still the same. It's the obvious thing to do, right? The, the extra money gets you the reserve, or or, or or gets you the upgrade to the ghoul, whichever one it is. I, th- I yeah. think I think turning a zombie into a ghoul is better than giving him a dirty player, right? So, if anything, I'm, I'll be very glad when your evolves done and over, so I can stop playing against Necromantic. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. So there, there's all the Necro teams. They are all they are all the same. All three of them is that is that team. They are all identical. So that's uh, that's fun, isn't it? So that, in Group A, that covers Andy, Devo, and Hiru, and then we've got Sol, who has kept the same. The same team with the same rat ogre. This is his Euro Ball team that he wants practice with. He's he's down a lot of skills actually, right? He's got one, two, mm. three, four, five, six skills. Whereas the other the other Skaven team, because they're using the other pack, they've got eight skills. So it's it's actually he's paying two skills to put wrestle and strip on the same uh, on the same gutter. But he likes it. What do you think, Dimmy? He's the top American coach. I, d- I don't. I don't play a ton of rats, but um, I mean, it is what it is. It's, 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 if it works for him, it works for him. You know. So. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't mind having like a guard blitzer and putting skills on all the gutters and stuff. But I mean, it's it's his jam, isn't it? That is his jam, and uh, and then Tree is returning with the exact same team, which I believe is her Euro. It's not Euro, not Euro Bowl. What's the what's the one where this teams are for rather than uh, European? European. This is her European team um, with the frenzy war dancer instead of a instead of the, the 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 historical standard tackle. Right, that's the historically standard one is the tackle. So gone with frenzy instead. Strip ball is the same, and then you two wrestle, you two dodge tree three re-rolls uh, again this is the package that gives you the extra money which gets you the ro- lets you roster the third re-roll and have the apple pretty nice team yeah rick reckless has done it yeah, mm. yeah. brilliant <laughs> and uh now of course we have the legend the legend that is dimmy g just well, one hey. draw gone undead and he hasn't gone like the other people he hasn't gone like the other undead people he's gone with his standard tabletop style roster so walk us through it please Dimmy G <laughs> Dimmy G <laughs> uh, this is just the roster that I play every time I play undead like normally I only get 5 skills it's what I know how to play uh, so I just thought I'd go with the old vanilla so guard blitzer or, and uh, tackle blitzer and then three blood schools and a wrestle. Mm. I normally go a keg, but I can't in Blood Bowl 3, so I've got a 13th player. Yeah, that's a shame, isn't it? Because the keg yeah. would be nice. That it coming with the upcoming patch, <laughs> funnily enough, that you know, I, I guess we could have waited for does a, does allow um, admins. Oh, no, it's in October. I think that maybe comes out. Yeah, I think that comes out October. I think that's coming October rather than next patch. I think it's coming October that you can add, you know, like um, money, yeah, yeah, money to teams and stars and stuff. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not certain on that, but it's coming at some point anyway. But uh, not right now. So uh, yeah, that's, I think it's a good team. But I do think, I mean, I prefer the ones that make use of the package personally. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it probably is better to take the package, but I just don't like the fact that you can't take the free blood schools. I just like free blood schools, but mm. um, I mean. <laughs> Three Blodge Ghouls is certainly going to be nice versus uh, this noob who's taken Orcs because he's yeah, got no be, tackle yeah. at all. He's just got seven guard. What an idiot. Oh, it's insane. This build is insane. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Um, it's obviously pretty all in as well with the only 11 players. Like, maybe I should have gone 12 players. Um, go on, Apo. 
Okay. Yeah, hard to foul, isn't it? See, the best thing about twelve players is you can have a cheeky foul and like gutters and dancers and stuff. Whereas with eleven players, you don't really want to foul. Yeah, so, you can make one turn a lot better, right? Yeah, and just well, just everything just being down to ten players is bad, right? So may maybe I shouldn't have taken the troll, and maybe I should have gone with twelve players. But I do like the troll, right? It certainly helps versus mummies and uh, and lizards and stuff having another strength five player is good strength five guard really hard to deal with when you've got loads of other guard so um yeah but maybe i didn't i kind of wishing i'd gone 12 players but we'll see how it plays out at the end of the day this is the roster that won me blood bowl super league um two seasons ago so i thought well except better right the, it's the team that i had the troll so i've taken the troll again but now maxed out on guard so uh, i'm pretty happy with that so that's group a teams and then group b we can straight start with zero so yeah here this is the undead this is the kind of standard undead this is the one that i made up with this uh, two point package because the, so the two point package gets you an extra skill but you can only have a maximum of three of the same kind of skill so it limits you to three guard limits you to three block so that obviously leaves your last two to be wrestle on the uh, ghouls and a tackle i mean it could be a mighty blow blitzer i guess but just you know it limits you to three guard, um, but you don't like guard on the mummies, do you? As a rule. Yeah, like if I did this, I'd probably put a guard on the blitzer, and then I'd probably oh, you can't put bludge on them, can you? You have to take like triple wrestle. Yeah, I, I just personally I don't like it, but yeah, I think you have to put guard on the mummies because you can't put it anywhere else, can you? Yeah. Unless you go for another guard white and then you lose it. Well, I guess you could probably put the guard on the white instead of the tackle. Um, and then put, I don't know, another wrestle. Mm. It's, it's hard to say, really. It's hard to say. I just didn't like it because it, it's putting the skills in places I don't want skills. Like, not that I don't want skills, but I just don't think that. Like, the mummies just get left behind, is the problem. Mm. Wow, that's interesting. So, that, I mean, it's pretty cool. So, that's Sea Rose, and Art, I believe, has gone exactly the same. Funnily enough, he called his team No One Dead, and the reason was, I think, was the lack of the package. And now that the package has come out, We've got two people taking them, and then of course Dimmy was always going to take them because he's an undead main, aren't you? You'd I'm a knob main, Jim. I'm a knob main. Mm, I don't know. I think you play more undead. <laughs> Not so <OP. laughs> So yeah, so he's got exactly the same roster as uh, C Bros. Um, well, I mean everyone's got the same roster, right? Everyone's got the 13 players. Yeah, it's um, like this is better in a bash package. matchup for sure. But mm -hmm. then, like when you're playing against woodies and rats, guard and mummies aren't going to do a ton. Mm, true. And uh, ooh, well, so now we've also got um, Olivier and Kfog. They might have taken the same team. I think they're pretty close. Oh, no, I, I, I prefer Kfog. Kfog's gone with my team, the double guard blitzer. I really like the double guard blitzer. That's, that, was, that was my variation. I like the double guard. He's gone with the double guard. So obviously I like Kfog's more. Um, juggernaut, block, wrestle, sidestep, strip, leader. And he's gone with 13 players and two rerolls. And an apple, of course. Interesting, good, bad, two double guard. I prefer this to Souls team, yeah. But it's again, it's like it's just if I well, I played Rats before, and this would be more closer to what I would play. Mm, yeah, this is the two point package getting you the eighth skill, which I think is a very nice package. And yeah, for sure, it's good. Rats, like you say, Rats just look really good. Yeah, and this is Olivia. Olivia has gone with a mighty blow, so. I, I, I do prefer K-Fogs. Like, it's literally only different by one skill. Because <laughs> he's gone double guard and, and Olivier's gone guard mighty. But I, I, I confess I do prefer the double guard. But You confess? Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. Interesting, isn't it? We've got Olivier Delac, world number one. Um, Core world, number, uh, world two. number two. Yeah, both is Skaven. Both with the same roster. They've both gone with 13 players. Apo, two rerolls. And they've both taken seven out of eight skills the same. There's only one skill difference. And uh, very super exciting to see those both on rats. They'll be playing against each other? At some point, yes, they will, yeah. Yeah, yeah that'll be interesting. Yeah, Bright, we already covered um, with the uh, Skaven team that, 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 I, <laughs> that I made myself. I can uh, I can put up there again briefly in case you, know, you weren't paying Make attention. Romantic. <clears throat> Did I not say sorry if I said you said that? Skaven? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No necromantic. There you go. Just the same as Andy and Hiru. And then what is the other team here? Artemis. 
Artemis and Strider. Oh, we've done Artemis. Yeah, I've done Artemis. It was the oh, same right. as Seabulls. It's Strider. Strider is back with his Wood Elves, and I believe this is his Euroball team. Um, yep, it's the same. It's the same uh, roster. Oh, as trees. Mighty Blow. Yeah, it's the same team, isn't it? It's just posted at the same team. Yes, yeah, same as last time. Um, <coughs> except it's uh, still, still a strip, but instead sidestep instead of tackle or frenzy. So. That is that is um, that is Strider's little wrinkles, and it is quite nice, honestly. But see, because the thing is, I used to like sidestep on a catcher, right? When they had sprint, I don't know if you mm -hmm. know, Demi, but uh, Wood Elf catchers used to have sprint. Oh, <laughs> really, Jim? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and when they had sprint, that was really good. That was, I mean, it was really good. So you wouldn't be sidestep. wouldn't be crazy for going leap first on them, would you? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, so, but now the sidestep isn't so good, right? Because the one turn isn't so good with them because yeah. all they've got for the one turn is catch. They don't have this sprint anymore. Whereas sidestep for a dancer is pretty good, right? Let's him, lets him, uh, you know, go up, stand on the sideline and stuff. And it's just better. Like sidestep is better on a bludge player than it is on a strength two nothing player. So really good to, to and it makes it, it makes stopping the one turn good as well, right? Because he's got a stand firm tree and he's got a sidestep dancer. So he stops a one turn better and he scores a one turn better. And it's also just useful in game as well. It is a pretty nice skill for a dancer sidestep. So I think not I like as good it. As, it's not as good against goals. True. I mean, I like it more than the frenzy dancer, but I think I like it less yeah. than the tackle. But. I think I'm there. I think I'm exactly there with you. I like it more than the frenzy, less than the tackle. Mm. Yeah. Blood sidestep. It's a bit of a trend. There you go. Thanks, Cor. So uh, yeah, interesting, interesting stuff. And uh, I mean, that, I mean, that's it. That that's all of the teams. Um, and that that's that's about. I mean, I guess that's all. That's all we can say, isn't it? We've got the group sorted. We've got the team yeah, sorted. Yeah, we've got like the the matchups then. We do have the you matchups. Wait for... Oh, you we do. do have the matchups. Who yeah. have I got first? Group A. I've got Hero. Soul. No, I've got Soul. Soul. I'm a Soul man. <laughs> yes, you are. Soul Tree, Davo. Or oh, when are you playing me? Soul Tree. Are we Davo. playing last? Are we playing last? Week five, Dimmy versus Jimmy. Uh, I'll be knocking you out of playoffs. But amazing. <laughs> Happy days. Dimmy I got my Jimmy. two hardest games last. So if, if I lose the first three, it's gonna be horrendous. <laughs> oh, <amazing. sighs> nah, I'm inside. Yeah. There you go. So there's, there's, you know, most of. But I mean, that's ooh, that's three weeks there. Yeah, first week versus two. Jimmy Tree. He's playing orcs. Seven guard orcs. <laughs> yeah, not good against Woodies, right? I'm going to struggle versus the dodgy teams. Um, oh, it's the Danish duo up first as well. They got Kpo Seabros. Nice. Nice. Olivier versus Bright. That will be a banger. Yeah, Olivier versus Core. When's that? Uh, that will be that will be real good. That, that's yeah. I'm actually genuinely looking forward to that. Yeah, that will be very cool. Um, so yeah, anyway, these are all the games, and uh, we'll be starting right now. You know, and people can people can start scheduling their games, and of course, I will you know broadcast them all if as replays, even if they're not live. We'll try and do as many live as possible, and we'll try and like you know we'll try and obviously we'll have a week off for Euro Bowl because a lot of these people are in Euro Bowl. Euro Bowl. And the European, <laughs> so, so so it's hard to, to it's hard to speak okay to me. So we'll have a week off there, but hopefully you know we can like we can smash through as quickly as possible, and uh, it should end just about in time for the start of the World Cup, you know. And then, um, and I mean, we could even wait until that's concluded. Honestly, like you know, depending or or you know, like the, there won't be many games left, like maybe just the playoffs. So we could wait. We could even wait till the end of that. We could even wait till the end of that to finish it off, whatever. But uh, I wanted to get it started now. Otherwise, there'd be like you know, it'd be next year for the Super League at the end. Of the you got to wait for it? Bright to get in, haven't you? And you've got to wait for Andy to finish the playoffs, no? Well, no, he can just make a new team, and that doesn't stop the other. Oh, he has to make it's a new a spin team. League, yeah, it's a spin league, right? So. Oh right, okay. So they can just kick off straight away. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You could play Sol right now. <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, you could though. So yeah, so anything can happen, and uh, yeah, I will cover it all on my channel. And obviously, a lot of, there's a lot of streamers in here. Dimmy might even uh, stream some games there. 
Uh, I might. I don't know. Like, I wasn't planning to, but yeah, I, I could do. I could do. Could do. Yeah, we've got a few streamers in, and uh, so there you go. Right, that's that's it anyway. Um, so thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you, Dimmy. It's been great having you in the booth again. And it's going to be great to play you in week five. I can't wait. Week five. Week five. <laughs> First win, week five. There we go. That can be. That can be on your uh, on your achievements next season. Can be uh, you know, won a game in Super League. Won a game in Super League. <laughs> It'll be better than I did last time. So that's all that matters, right? That's all that matters. It's guaranteed. Guaranteed versus me. Right. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.